I'm going to do an exercise for Wright Patterson Mahjong using the 2020 Green Book. This exercise is called Random Pulls. The purpose is to practice identifying the strength in a dealt hand. That's the first step to picking a hand. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls. We'll pick a card to determine which player we are, and we'll also pick a card for who is the prevailing wind. This would be where the wall was broken, and that could apply to some of the hands we may play. We are going to be north, and north is prevailing for the first random pull. We have an east, a white dragon, one, two, three, and cracks. One, four, five, seven, eight in BAMs with a pung of fours and a pair of fives. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? Well, I think that's an easy choice. One suit or maybe one suit with honors. We have a pung in there, so we may not be able to use the winds. And I would not pass this. That would be very risky. So I'd probably pick a hand so we can whittle out some of these tiles to make that a better pass. Because every pass is going to your opponents. You don't want to help them build their hand. We are north and prevailing is north. There is a hand under sequence hands and we have a little bit of a sequence, four or five. So I'd say page 18 is gonna be where our hand will be eventually. Harmony number 17 is three pungs in a sequence in one suit with a pung of corresponding dragons and a pair of owner prevailing wind. So we don't need this east and we have to have the corresponding dragon, so we don't need that either. I would keep all BAMs, and probably what I would do here, instead of passing east with a dragon, that'd be pretty risky too. I think I would let an east go with a one three for the first pass and focus on BAMs. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write it in the comment section below with pull one. Coincidence? I mixed them up. We're going to be west, and west is prevailing for the next random pull. We'll get 13 tiles. We have a white dragon, green dragon pair, four, seven, nine in BAMs, nine dot, three, four, five, seven, nine in cracks with a pair of nines. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I'd play a hand of honors.
nines, dragons. I wouldn't pick a hand because there are a lot of hands we could play. I would probably pass seven, four, maybe three, four, seven, like that. Actually, if we get everything we want here, maybe we should have a different suit. Let's see, what about if we do four, seven with a three like that? And then we would have another pass with mixed suits if we get everything we want. If you would do something differently with these towels, write it in the comment section below with pull two. <laughs> I guess I didn't mix them up very good. South and South. We have a white dragon north and south, one, two, three, six in cracks with a pair of sixes, seven, nine in bams, four, seven, nine in dots. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I'd play one suit in honors. Maybe discard those. I wouldn't pick a hand. But we do have the makings of Betty. Three pair with news, one of each of the dragons, and then any of those paired. But there could be a lot of changes during the Charleston with this. One suit or one suit with honors is what I would do. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write pull three in the video description below with what you would play. When you first get your dealt tiles, arrange them by suit in numerical order and put your winds and dragons together. Then look for the strength of the hand. That's going to either be the predominant pattern, which will be one of the categories in the green book. You could also look for multiples, which are pairs, pungs, and try to find a hand that can leverage those tiles. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.